the shell here has been sitting on an anthill, and it's been there for probably about a week. Um, so it only took a few days for the ants to actually devour all the meat and stuff that was inside the shell. So as you can see here, there's a whole swarm of ants there on the, and you just put it, I found an ant hill here, threw it on top, and within a few days they had uh, devoured most of the meat and stuff inside the shell. Oh, shoot. Now as you can see, it's kind of dry. These are called, um, I forget what these are called, but these are scales. And as you can see, it's all dried out and they're starting to crack off of here. It's not a problem because we're gonna glue them back on. First, I've just gotta get all the ants off of it because they're still. Now, after I cleaned the turtle and got all the meat and bones and organs and all that out of the shell, there was still a lot of, uh, you know, skin and stuff on here. So what I did was took a wire brush and kind of tried to scrape out as, mo as much of it as I can with that. Um, and it's, you can tell I can't really fit my hand in there to get like sandpaper or anything. So that's when I had to go stick it on the anthill and see what, how much they could do. Now there is still you can see some, some rot in there, so I have another solution for that. I wasn't able to get everything out. The ants and uh, the wire brush and everything left a little bit of material on the inside. And there's just dirt and stuff that I have to clean off before I, you know, clear coat it or anything. So my idea is I'm going to take a gun cleaning kit. This is a, um, just a wire brush attachment, uh, a 20 gauge attachment. I don't own a 20 gauge, so I, I don't really need to clean a barrel with that. What I'm going to do is stick it in this drill, and this should allow me to remove some of this material from the inside. I'm going to get finished with that. Uh, another thing, it has an extension on here. So for some of those harder to reach spots, my plan is to use this extension. to get to the kind of harder to reach little nooks and crannies in here. And I can already see that it is working. So it's gonna take me a while to get it completely clean in there, but that's what I'm planning on doing now. My original plan didn't work. Um, the attachment on the drill was really cheap and I was just drilling normally and it just snapped off. Um, if you can find kind of a better attachment, a stronger one, more heavy duty, then that might work for you. Um, but what I found also works is, first I went in it with uh, another uh, piece of my gun cleaning kit and just kind of started, you know, scraping off as much uh, gunk as I could. Uh, whatever the skin or membrane is, that's that's on here is really stubborn uh, it's it's really hard to get off so what I found works is getting just a chisel or a flathead screwdriver and going in and just scraping it off it actually works really well so I'm gonna be going at that for a while just trying to get every last little bit uh, of skin out of here. Um, another thing that you can use is a flathead screwdriver. I found that also works. 
because there's not much left. There's just little pieces here and there that I'd like to remove. Here, I'll show you close up. There's just little pieces like that that you just need to scrape off. And they're kind of all throughout the shell. I don't know if it's hard you can see that. Originally, what I wanted to do was keep all the scales on. I, I, they're actually called scoots, and um, they were all dry and cracking off. So what I ended up doing was attaching a wire brush to my drill and just going over the whole thing, removing all the scales. As you can see, they're still kind of coming off. Even on the bottom, there's a scaly uh, surface that you can remove. Um, these work really well. It hardly took me any time to just run this, run over this and get it nice and smooth. Uh, and what I'm going to end up doing, instead of clear coating it, uh, I'm just going to paint it, paint this and the inside. So I've been chiseling away at the inside of this shell, and there's this really tough, like, canvas type. It, it feels like canvas. It's skin, and... Uh, or some kind of membrane but I was able to actually stick my hand far enough in here to kind of like rip and peel off um, some of this material here it's really dry I'm not sure it's some kind of skin um, and I'm at the point where I don't know how much more I can get out of it it's fairly clean it has kind of a musty smell, but not terribly bad. It kind of just smells like swamp or kind of like turtle meat if you've ever smelled that. I'm going to give you guys a close up here. As you can see, that's kind of the skin stuff that uh, I've been trying to chisel at and get off. All in all, I mean, it's, I think it's as good as it's going to get. I could spend hours getting every last little bit out. But my plan now is to just put enough paint, enough coats of paint over it, and hopefully seal it up. Before I do that, I'm going to take a little um, alcohol and... Just splash it in there to hopefully kill like any bacteria that's left over. I'm just going to pour some in and swirl it around. Okay. So I got it pretty much all the surface inside. Covered in alcohol. You'll notice too that I taped off the top of the shell. I masked it all off because what I'm going to do is paint the inside and the bottom, everywhere that's tan here, this tan color spray paint. And after that's done, I'm going to paint the top uh, black or dark green color, just like it normally would look. All right, so I have the alcohol all over the inside of the shell, hopefully just to kind of sanitize it a little bit before I uh, start painting. We're gonna let that dry and then we'll get to the painting. So this is pretty much as good as uh, it's going to get for now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting and see if I can seal this up with enough coats of paint. Um, I'm going to start with the inside and the bottom. I got this color that's like a sandy textured color. So let's give this a shot. I also want to note that this isn't, this is my first time uh, doing a turtle shell mount. So I really don't know how this is going to turn out. I did eat this turtle and it was really good. Uh, it is a I think it is a slider, 
I want to say this is some kind of uh, pond slider. It wasn't a red ear. Um, if I had to guess, I think it was a yellow uh, slider. So let's just try to start coating the inside of this shell. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys here. I don't think the camera picked it up, but as I was spraying, I was just filling up the inside of this with as much, uh, as heavy as a coat as I can get it. Um, and I think it looks pretty decent. You can see there's still a little bit of those um, pieces kind of hanging off right there and so I'm not sure how to deal with that. I might be able to just peel like that piece off after it's all dry, we'll see. But overall, I, I'm pretty sure this will hold. I think it should seal up pretty good. I'm also planning on doing another clear coat after this. So after this is done drying, uh, I'm gonna flip it over, do the inside, the top part over there and then we'll do the top of the shell. All right, let's paint the underside. Oh, still a little wet. I should probably get some alcohol and clean this off, but I'm just going to go with it. What I'm using is this uh, Krylon uh, undercarriage black rubberized paint. It's just something that I had laying around, but it sounds like it should work. Wow, it's actually more like a brown color, so that's pretty cool. Oh, shoot, see, I accidentally oversprayed. Didn't mean to do that. Nothing you can't touch up later. That is not bad looking. It actually looks very similar to what the natural coloring of that shell is. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna have to get another can of that tan paint for underneath. And then we will do a clear coat on top of everything. <laughs> 